आज का हमारा टॉपिक है क्लिनिकल एनाटॉमी ऑफ वीनस ट्रेनेज ऑफ लोअर लिम्ब सो इसमें पहला क्लिनिकल है काफ पंप एंड पेरीफेरल हार्ट वॉट इज काफ पंप सो इन दी अपराइट पोजिशन और स्टैंडिंग पोजिशन द वीनस रिटर्न फ्रॉम द लोअर लिम्ब डिपेंड्स लार्जली ऑन द कॉन्ट्रेक्शन ऑफ काफ मसल्स दिस इज अ डायग्राम शोइंग द काफ मसल इन द रेस्टिंग पोजिशन काफ मसल के वीनस साइनसिस में काफी सारा ब्लड भरा रहता है सो वेन एवर द काफ मसल्स कॉन्ट्रैक्ट दीज वीनस साइनसिस ट्रांसफर देयर ब्लड टू द डीप वेन्स एंड फ्रॉम द डीप वेन्स इट गोज अपवर्ड्स सो फॉर द सेम रीजन द सोलियस इज ऑल्सो नोन एज पेरीफेरल हार्ट एक तरह से ये भी ब्लड पंप ही कर रहा है वेन एवर इट कॉन्ट्रैक्ट ब्लड कंटेंट इन द लार्ज साइनसिस विद इन इट इज पंप इन टू द डीप वेन्स एंड फ्रॉम द डीप वेन्स इट एसेंट्स टूवर्ड्स द हार्ट whenever it relaxes blood flows into the sinuses from the superficial veins so superficial veins hamari blood leke aayengi so inflow of blood occurs through the superficial veins and deep veins ke through hamara outflow hoga blood hamare soleus muscle se bahar jayega second clinical is cut open procedure or vena section it is done on the great saphenous vein as it lies on the front of the medial malleolus कट ओपन प्रोसीजर में हम स्किन को पूरा एक्सपोज करते हैं जीएसवी के एक पार्ट को हम थोड़ा सा कट करके उसमें हम कैन्यूला इंसर्ट करते हैं एंड देन वॉट एवर फ्लूड्स वी हैव टू इंट्रोड्यूस इन द बॉडी हम वो करते हैं दिस वेन इज यूज फॉर ट्रांसफ्यूजन ऑफ ब्लड और फ्लूड्स इन केस ऑफ नॉन अवेलेबिलिटी और कोलेप्स ऑफ अदर वेन्स सो इन केस दूसरे वेन्स कोलेप्स हो चुके हैं देन वी चूज द ग्रेट से फेनस वेन फॉर द इंसर्जन ऑफ द कैन्यूला टू इंट्रोड्यूस द ब्लड और वेरियस फ्लूड्स नाउ थर्ड क्लिनिकल है जी एस वी इज यूज फॉर बाईपासिंग द ब्लॉक्ड कोरोनरी आर्टरीज द वेन इज रिवर्सड सो दैट वेल्व डोंट ब्लॉक द पैसेज ऑफ ब्लड सो इन दिस डायग्राम वी कैन सी वी हैव ग्रेट से फेनस वेन विच इज यूज एज अ ग्राफ्ट फॉर द राइट कोरोनरी आर्टरी सो दिस इज एन एब्सट्रैक्ट टेकन फ्रॉम द जर्नल ऑफ न्यूरो सर्जरी द सेफेनस वेन ग्राफ्ट वॉज प्रिपेयर बाई लाइजिंग द वेल्व विद द वेल्व्यूलोटोम The blood flow could then be reversed in the vein, allowing it to be used in either direction as a bypass graft. So, its valves को पहले लाइस किया जाता है, then you can use it in either direction to assist the flow of blood. Now, fourth clinical है हमारा varicose veins or ulcers. If the valves in perforating veins or termination of superficial veins, so हमारी great saphenous vein कहाँ पे terminate हो रही थी? So, in the saphenous femoral junction. so if the valves in saphenous femoral junction or in the perforating veins become incompetent it means the valves are allowing the bidirectional flow of blood the defective vein become high pressure leak through which the high pressure of deep veins produced by muscular contractions are transmitted to superficial vein so in case deep veins mein high pressure banta hai then the blood will flow in a unconventional direction which is deep veins to the superficial veins which is not normal and this results in first dilatation of superficial veins second gradual degeneration of their valves and this results in the varicose veins or varicose ulcers so in short agar hamari valves in the perforating veins or in the termination of superficial veins incompetent ho jaye then whenever deep veins mein high pressure build up hoga then the blood can flow into the superficial veins also this will degenerate their valves and it will create a dilatation of superficial veins and this results in varicose veins and varicose ulcers in this diagram we can see we have varicose vein it is a dilated vein with many bends and abnormal blood flow occurs in this diagram we have varicose veins and we have varicose ulcer our next clinical is the varicose vein often occur during the third trimester of pregnancy as the iliac vein get pressed due to enlarged uterus these mostly subside after delivery subside means getting normal this is an abstract taken from the national heart lung and blood institute varicose veins are a common condition caused by weak or damaged vein walls and valves so during the pregnancy hamari iliac vein ki walls damage ho jayengi due to the enlarged uterus and after the delivery it, the condition will become normal varicose veins ko hum treat kaise karenge so it is treated with laser treatment or sclerosing injections our next clinical is trendelenburg's test it is done to find out the site of leak or defect in a patient with varicose veins 
only the superficial or perforators can be tested so not the deep veins so superficial or perforators me agar koi bhi leakage hui then we can detect it with the trendelenburg's test so iska procedure kya hai the patient is made to lie down the veins are emptied by raising the limbs and stroking the varicose veins in proximal direction in this diagram we have raised the limbs stroking ka matlab hota hai apne thumb se pressure lagana so using our thumb hum proximal direction mein thoda sa pressure lagayenge on the varicose veins so ek tarah se we are pushing the blood upwards now the pressure is applied by the thumb at saphenno femoral junction iske baad ab hum saphenno femoral junction pe pressure lagayenge and the patient is asked to stand up quickly agar hame superficial veins ko test karna hai then the pressure is released hum saphenno femoral junction se apna pressure nikal lenge the quick filling of varicose veins from above indicates incompetency of superficial veins so jo bhi blood hamara deep veins mein bhara hua tha it will move into the superficial veins this shows the incompetency of the valves in the superficial veins because the normal direction of flow of blood is from superficial into the deep not the opposite agar hame perforating veins ko hame check karna hai then the pressure at saphenno femoral junction is not released and maintained for a minute after some time the gradual filling of varicose veins indicates incompetency of the perforating veins so is case mein hua kya hoga deep veins se blood perforators ke through superficial veins mein aa gaya hoga and superficial veins mein hi varicose veins hota hai so it shows that hamare perforators theek tarah se kaam nahi kar rahe the because perforators mein bhi normal direction of blood flow is superficial to deep in this diagram we can see we have the perforator veins inki conventional direction is from superficial into the deep venous system but during the varicose veins the blood flow occurs from the deep venous system into the superficial venous system which shows the incompetency of the valves present in the perforators this is another diagram showing the trendelenburg's test isme hum limb ko raise karenge we will apply some pressure on the varicose veins to push the blood in the proximal direction after that हम प्रेशर लगाएंगे सेफेनो फिमोरल जंक्शन में एंड वी विल आस्क द पेशेंट टू स्टैंड अप क्विकली द रैपिड फीलिंग फ्रॉम एबव ऑन रिलीज ऑफ टॉर्निक्वाइट इंडिकेट्स इनकॉम्पिटेंस ऑफ ग्रेट सेफेनस वेन टू टेस्ट द सुपरफिशियल वेन्स हम अपना प्रेशर तुरंत हटा लेंगे रैपिड फीलिंग ऑफ द ग्रेट सेफेनस वेन इंडिकेट्स द इनकॉम्पिटेंसी ऑफ द वेल्व प्रेजेंट इन द सुपरफिशियल वेन्स अगर हम प्रेशर लगाए रखते हैं then the blood fills gradually in the varicose veins which shows the incompetency of the valves present in the perforators thank you